Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve one important uh, definite integral involving uh, greatest integer function, right? So here uh, we have to calculate uh, the value of this definite integral from 1 to 2 and the integrand is uh, uh, greatest integer x square minus x, right? So here uh, the uh, function uh, which is given here as an integrand is greatest integer function, right? So this is greatest integer function. Now, uh, in order to uh, evaluate this integral, uh, let us make use of uh, the method of substitution and uh, uh, let us start, right? So let us first call this integral as i, right? Now, uh, let us uh, substitute uh, t is equal to x square minus x, right? So, uh, we'll take t equal to x square minus x, which is the quantity uh, inside this uh, uh, greatest integer function uh, sign, right? So, now, uh, uh, differentiating both sides, uh, we can write dt over dx is equal to 2x minus 1, right? and uh, dx is equal to dt over 2x minus 1 right now uh, see uh, here we have uh, uh, 2x minus 1 so now uh, we'll try to uh, express x in terms of t right so now from uh, this relation uh, we can write uh, t is equal to x minus uh, half uh, whole square uh, minus 1 over 4 right because uh, by uh, uh, making a complete square here uh, x square minus x can be written as x minus half whole square minus 1 over 4 because if we simplify this expression we'll get uh, this quantity right because uh, uh, a minus b whole square is uh, x square plus 1 over 4 minus uh, 2 times x times half then we have here 1 over 4 and c uh, minus 1 over 4 and plus 1 over 4 get cancelled and here 2 and 2 get cancelled so we are left with x square minus x right so t is equal to x minus 1 over 2 whole square minus 1 over 4 and now uh, taking 1 over 4 to the left hand side so we can write t plus 1 over 4 is equal to x minus half whole square and this can be written as 4t plus 1 over 4 and this can be written as 2x minus 1 over 2 uh, whole square and that is 4t plus 1 over 4 uh, that is equal to 2x minus 1 whole square and 2 square is 4 so 4 and 4 get cancelled so we have 4t plus 1 is equal to 2x minus 1 whole square and 2x minus 1 is uh, equal to uh, square root of uh, 4t plus 1 right so now uh, this 2x minus 1 uh, can be written as uh, square root of 4t plus 1 so dx is now equal to uh, dt over square root of 4t plus 1 right okay so now uh, see here uh, uh, the limits are from x is equal to 1 to x is equal to 2 so uh, since we are converting or we are changing the variable x to t so let us uh, uh, change the limits accordingly right so when x is equal to 1 then the value of t is uh, uh, 1 square minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is 0 and when x is equal to uh, 2 then the value of t is 2 square minus uh, 2 that is 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 right so when x varies from 1 to 2 then t varies from 0 to 2 right so now this integral i uh, can be written as 
integral from uh, t is equal to uh, 0 to 2 and greatest integer t because x square minus x is equal to t and for dx we can write uh, dt over uh, square root of 4t plus 1 right so now we have to evaluate uh, this integral now viewers uh, here we see that uh, the value of uh, t it varies from uh, 0 to uh, t is equal to 2 right now in between uh, 0 and 2 uh, we have uh, the integer uh, that is t is equal to 1 right so here what we will do uh, we will break this uh, uh, integral as a sum of two integrals right so the first one is from 0 to uh, 1 and the second one is from 1 to 2 right so we will split the limit and uh, we have two integrals i1 and i2 so uh, here uh, i1 is from t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 1 and we have greatest integer t uh, dt over uh, square root of uh, 4t plus 1 and uh, i2 is from t is equal to 1 to t is equal to 2 and here we have greatest integer t dt over square root of 4t plus 1 right so once we have uh, expressed the integral i as a sum of two integrals i1 and i2 now uh, at this step we have to make use of uh, uh, the definition of uh, uh, greatest integer function right so when uh, t uh, it varies from 0 to 1 that is when t lies between 0 uh, to 1 then the value of greatest integer t is obviously uh, 0 and when t lies uh, between uh, 1 and 2 1 and 2 then the value of greatest integer t is 1 right so for this greatest integer t we can write uh, 0 here because t lies between 0 and 1 and for this greatest integer t uh, we can write uh, 1 because t lies between 1 and 2 so therefore uh, i becomes see uh, this integral is now 0 because for greatest integer t we have 0 here so we have uh, uh, this integral as 0 and then we have plus uh, integral from t is equal to 1 to t is equal to 2 and for this greatest integer t we have 1 we have dt over square root of 4t plus 1 so now we can write this integral as uh, integral from 1 to 2 dt over square root of 4t plus 1 so we have reduced uh, this integral to uh, this one right so now again uh, in order to evaluate this integral we'll make use of uh, the method of uh, substitution so now uh, to evaluate this integral we'll make use of uh, the substitution that is uh, let us uh, take y square is equal to uh, 4t plus 1 right so uh, therefore uh, we have 2y dy is equal to 4 dt and uh, dt is equal to 2y dy over 4 that is y dy over 2 right so now again we are changing the variable t to y so uh, let us uh, change the limits accordingly so when t is equal to 1 then uh, y square is equal to 4 times 1 plus 1 that is 5 and uh, it implies that y is equal to square root of 5 and when t is equal to 2 then y square is equal to 4 times 2 plus 1 that is uh, 4 to the 8 plus 1 9 so uh, y is equal to square root of 9 that is 3 right so now uh, this integral 
is equal to uh, from uh, y is equal to uh, root 5 to 3 and for dt we can write uh, y dy over 2 divided by uh, square root of 40 plus 1 and uh, uh, from here we have uh, y is equal to square root of 40 plus 1 so here we have y right so therefore uh, i can be uh, written as c this y and this y get cancelled so we have uh, integral from uh, root 5 to 3 and we have dy over 2 and this can be written as uh, taking half outside the integral sign so we have uh, integral from root 5 to 3 and dy right now we know that uh, uh, integral of uh, dy is y so therefore uh, i is equal to a half and we have y integral of dy is y and the limits are from root 5 to 3 and now uh, we can simply uh, substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so we have half and 3 minus square root of 5 right so viewers uh, the value of uh, this integral is uh, equal to a half uh, times 3 minus square root of 5.